was advertised as a training session for meat, chicken, fish, but nobody told us how interesting it would be with a very jovial speaker. And this is how his classes are being held. This one is just your standard smoker. You either hook the chickens and it's got um, a room for two trays inside here so you can lay down whether it's fish or whatever other meat you want to do on the trays there some hooks for you to use i include um, four hooks and then i also sell hooks as well they are um, how much are the hooks they are 50 quarter for 10. yeah so yeah any other questions okay i think uh, without further ado we can go ahead and get started so my name is uh, Witch Kakawe and uh, I am one of uh, the key players of our chain smoked meats. So at chain smoked meats, what we do is we sell meat smokers and we also do sell uh, smoked meat, although we are kind of uh, stepping away from that because it doesn't make sense. I sell you a smoker and then I'm also your competition for smoked meat selling and whatnot. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're just going to do a presentation, a training, and show you how you can uh, smoke your meat. So in front of us here, we've got uh, three smokers, and uh, these smokers are all different in their own way. What I like about this one, especially for those who are, um, are buying a smoker for business purposes, it really shows well. Let's say you have a restaurant or something, because um, you know you are allowed to open the smoker while you're smoking, just to check the the products themselves how it's coming along so what I love about this is you know when you're checking you can just go ahead and open it you know and it really displays whether it's the fish or the chicken whatever you're smoking it really displays it and you know people are really attracted to, to that with the starter kit so in your starter kit I'll include a little bag of rosewood about this uh, size here and then uh, do we can go ahead and get started I think one of uh, the Oh, we've got a question here. Oh, how to cut the fish? Um, oh, you have one that's yeah. You can you can go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think uh, I'll probably send uh, some videos to you guys on how to cut the fish. So yeah, once you cut from the bottom, you kind of want to just go at the top there. And then just give it an even slice because you want to make sure that one side you know has enough meat and the other side also has enough meat you can ask them to cut it for you uh, so you don't have to because fish is very delicate you can cut it the wrong way and whatnot and then uh with fish also because a lot of people like um you know they they want to hook their their fish but like i said fish is very delicate so sometimes when you hook it, you can find if it's not hooked right, it uh, kind of falls off. So that's why I prefer to just lay it on trays. So that's why in uh, all my smokers, I always make sure to include uh, extra trays for fish and other meats, ribs, pork and all that. So like I said in here, there are two trays, maybe like towards the, the end of the smoking, maybe like the last 45 minutes, you can get some sauce actually. And uh, you know, you can get like a little paint paintbrush or something and just rub it onto the meat while it's uh, whilst it's inside the, the smoker just to kind of uh, so it gives it like a really nice uh, smoky aroma so otherwise usually you know you'll find like it's black or it's brown and whatnot it's not really uh, so much that it's dirt but it's just kind of you know the uh, the juices and the oil residue and whatnot kind of stuck to the the walls of the smoker but otherwise um it's pretty fairly easy to to clean yeah just get and i'll explain each one so this one here is uh what we call the smoke filter this we use it to uh kind of keep the so like i said uh, this new model that we have this one has uh three layers so this is where we hook our chickens from. Question, uh, what I like to do, because uh, fish, chicken, beef, pork, they all have uh, different smoke times. Uh, with chicken, it's usually about three to four hours. If you're doing maybe more than five, I'd give it like four to five hours, depending on the amount. So what I like to do, and with fish, it's generally about, so what I'll do is I'll put in the chicken first. Uh, and then sometimes we like to check on it like after one hour, but I'll give it two hours so after two hours when I'm checking on the chicken I'll go ahead and add uh, the rosewood 
with a bit of uh, um, with a bit of water there. So if we can just a minute, let me just uh, wash my hands. Whenever you spice it up, you can go ahead and use those techniques uh, with this. But uh, like she's done here, uh, I think she'll explain a bit better as far as uh, what um, what spices and or what herbs uh, she's added in. Okay. Yeah. And then it's parsley, rosemary, okay. thyme, garlic, and lemon. Okay. So there's parsley, yeah. I don't know if you're enough. garlic, thyme, and lemon. And uh, yeah, it's very good to use uh, the herbs because you know it gives it a uh, very, very nice flavor, especially when you are marinating or overnight soaking, when you are trying to infuse the flavor into the meat. Yeah. Because with spices, try to write, you can rub it with spice, all the spices that you want, but at the end of it, they kind of fall off, and then sometimes they're like burnt onto the chicken. Yeah. So it's really, really nice and good to uh, do it this way. Yeah, just go ahead and dig in. Uh, a little bit more in the cavity because I want the flavor to come in. Okay, okay. So for the garlic, I just cut it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so once the chicken is ready, all you do is just go ahead and hook it. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 it doesn't matter which way that you hook it, but I, I like to uh, hook the back here because it's nice and firm. It really gives it a nice, good, strong hook. So you just want to make sure that the chicken is held, it's nice and firm. Doesn't matter what you use, it can be a wire, it can be whatever. Uh, yeah. So you just want to go deep there. So that uh, even when it comes out, uh, you kind of see it. Uh, yeah. Yes. But anyway, so this is uh, the, the dish that we like to use. So you just add the tiniest bit of water. And what you do is you place it on top of your smoke filter here, just there. So you just put it there, and then uh, once you close it, when the heat is going, what that will do is it will create a, like a steam inside, and so the chicken will come out very moist. So even uh, beef, especially uh, these different um, meats such as goat meat, uh, village chicken, uh, meats that are a bit hard, and yeah, yeah, it really helps to moisten it up a bit and make it so. <laughs> so um, when you are spicing, like I said, uh, at the smoke filter there. So now this way. For more information, call him up or drop him a message on this number to be a part of the interesting classes. Okay.